Welcome to the Church of Thomas, 52810, Constantinople. Many people don't realize that there were actually two churches formed that were based on Christianity. And both of them have hierarchies that revolve around the idea of a head leader, a pope, and seminary uh, taught individuals to be the leaders of the different congregations. In Rome, it became a huge organization. It started um, amassing great fortunes and not distributing it to the poor. It became a way of consolidating power across all of Europe. However, there was another branch of Christianity that was actually founded in Constantine's time. It was called Constantinople. Right now it's in Turkey, which is a predominantly Muslim country. And unfortunately, there is something going on that is endangering the church in Constantinople. The Pope there and the entire Vatican of Constantinople stands on one block of city space. It's not a country. It's not a realm of its own. Its seminary was closed by the Turks because it was felt that it was wrong to be training Christians in a Muslim country. The only problem is that the Muslims are actually hurting themselves by reneging on an agreement that Muhammad made with the Church of Constantinople. If the Muslims will look back through history, they will see that Muhammad and most Arab countries as they were being founded were based on the idea of acceptance of other branches of worship, of tolerance, of acceptance. Not worship, but acceptance. Muhammad made a pact that basically was signed with his own hand that uh, the church at Constantinople still has in their possession. It is signed with his seal and basically what it says is it gives them the right in perpetuity to practice their religion as they see it in Turkey, in Constantinople. It is a shame that the Muslims are going to be bringing hardship upon themselves by refusing to honor an agreement, a pact, a contract that was signed by their leader. What I find weird is that you can't have it both ways. If you are a Muslim country and you believe that everyone in your country should be taught in a Muslim environment, fine. But if you honor the founder of your religion, Muhammad, the prophet, then you have to honor the agreements that he reached. He was farsighted in seeing that there was a place in this world for many different versions. And he embraced the Constantinople church as maybe not equal, but allowed. I ask the Turkish government to please reconsider their persecution of this denomination. It is important that they lead by example. If they would like tolerance of their religion in other countries, one of the best ways of doing it is to show that you honor your contracts, that your word is good. If your word is not good, and if you do not follow the Prophet Muhammad, then you have no right to call yourself Muslim. God bless the whole world, no exceptions. Angel Eliza.